Hi, welcome to the battery shop. Did you know that automotive batteries are vented? Yes, they are. When they're being charged, they actually produce some gases, hydrogen, oxygen, and if they're being aggressively overcharged, some sulfur dioxide as well. And so, for that reason, they're vented. If they weren't vented, they would bulge and burst. Batteries that are mounted inside the vehicle somewhere actually have vent holes, one on each side. And this, of course, is where the vent tube goes. The vent hole on the other side of the battery will have a plug in it. When the batteries are located under the hood, these gases simply enter the atmosphere. But when these batteries are inside the vehicle, in the trunk, under the seats, in the floor, the battery has to be vented outside. And you don't want hydrogen in the vehicle with you because if it reaches a 4% level in a confined space, it could explode if there's a spark or a flame present. And certainly you don't want sulfur dioxide in the vehicle with you because that smells like rotten eggs. And so for many vehicles, part of the battery installation is checking the vent tube and the ventilation system to make sure it's okay. Let's take a look at how we can do this. The battery's ventilation system is usually checked with a smoke generating machine like this. They utilize shop air and they're powered by 12 volts, usually connected to the battery of the vehicle being tested. The battery in this Mercedes is under the hood, but as you can see, it's right underneath the air intake for the cabin air. So we'll have to remove the cabin air filter and then carefully remove the vent tube from the side of the battery. Then remove the elbow from the vent tube. Now we can hook up our smoke generating device. And the nozzle for the smoke generating device is a cone, and so it'll fit right down inside of the vent tube. And one of the things about these smoke generating devices is that they do have a controller. And to turn the machine on and off, we simply press the button once to turn it on, press the button again to turn it off. And as you can see, when I push the button, it starts an airflow. And as I put my finger over the cone, we'll see the little ball fall down because we have a blockage. And that's one of the first things we'll look at is when we activate this device, we want to make sure the vent tube is not blocked. And so the ball should go to the top like it is now. And if there's blockage, it'll fall to the bottom. So let's get it hooked up. So we'll insert the cone into the vent tube and activate the machine. And we can see there is no blockage because the ball has gone all the way to the top. Next, we'll turn the machine to smoke. And we can see the smoke coming out of the cone. Now we'll insert the machine's cone into the vent tube. And look for any smoke that may be coming out of cracks or breaks in the vent tube. And I don't see any here. Let's check up underneath the vehicle to make sure the smoke is coming out there where it's supposed to. And as we can see, the smoke is coming out of the bottom of the vent tube under the vehicle where it's supposed to. Now we can turn off the smoke and disconnect the machine. Now we can reassemble the vent tube and replace it into the side of the battery. Then reinstall the cabin air filter. So when you're installing a vented battery in a vehicle, be sure that the battery's ventilation system is working well too, and that'll keep all those nasty gases out of the inside of the vehicle where you are. 